Right, my friends, we're doing another Train Simulator race in Train Simulator Classic, and today it's Britain versus America again. But this race is going to be very different because we're doing the opposite. Instead of having the fastest being the winner, we're actually going to see which engine is the slowest. That probably doesn't make any sense. But representing the UK, we have got the Bossman Games' Black 5. Now, I have tried racing with this thing many times before, but it doesn't want to pick up speed. And representing the United States of America, we have this, which is made by Smokebox uh, Jupiter. I have no idea what class this is, because you have to remember, I'm, I, I know nothing about American trains. And if you're wondering why I'm not wearing my Train Sim World 2 hat, it's because yesterday I went around my mum's house for Sunday dinner, and I left it behind, and I don't have my hat at the moment. So right now I'm hatless, which means you can see my scruffy hair, but that's okay. Girls like scruffy hair, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to program both these engines, do 110% power, and we're going to say which one is the slowest. The slowest is the winner because, you know, it's 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 different and we like different. I don't know what I'm doing. To, I don't know what I'm doing. And also right now I kind of made a mistake because I've just pressed the record button, but now I'm quite desperate for the loo in fact i'm gonna go to the bathroom quickly and then i'll be back shortly i'll flip the camera off and i'll, and I'll come right back <sighs> i feel much better now so yes back to business it's the black five versus jupiter and for some reason i thought it'd be cool to have a black five in the lms livery which um to be honest i'm not a big fan of the black five being in being being in lms i I prefer it in, in, in the BR livery, but it does look very nice, though, this uh, this LMS livery. And also, this race suggestion was actually suggested by one of my friends. Uh, you know who you are. And, uh, yeah, so uh, this is a very interesting request, seeing who's going to be the slowest. I have no idea who it's going to be, but leave your answer in the comment section down below as well if you guys think who's going to be the slowest out of these two. And also, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well to so stay notified to the channel. And also, please subscribe to my second YouTube channel because, like, you know, I'm trying to make new content on there and, like, you know, I really want to get that channel uh, up there in the ranks. I, 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 I've literally forgotten what I was going to say. But yes, subscribe to both channels. You won't regret it. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to the world editor. And because this is going to be one of the slowest races I've ever done, this is probably going to be the longest video I've ever recorded. So, uh, engine number one is the LMS Black 5. And you're going to be on platform one. And we're going to give you 110% power. So the Jupiter is on platform three, but it's engine number two. And we'll have you at 110% power as well. So there you go, programming done. Now, again, who do you think is going to be the slowest uh, train? Because, again, you know, for those of you who are confused, just like me, the slowest is going to be the winner. I know that doesn't make any sense, but, like, you know, it, it, like, it, I thought it would be, like, really fun and funny to to, to, to to see which engine will be the slowest. And you have to remember, this this video idea was was um, suggested to me by a friend of mine. So, um, you know who you are. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video, because this video is for you, my mate. And as always... As always, I'm going to be driving the Superclass 47, although that might not be necessary because we're going to be going at snail's pace, so I don't think we really need the Superclass 47, but I'm going to drive it anyway because it's funny and fun. And what is my hair doing? I don't know. If I should have my hair that way or should I have my hair that way? I don't know because because normally I wear a hat, you see, so I don't have to I don't have to worry about my hair on camera because I always wear a hat, so maybe I have it that way. I have it that way. I quite like it. I quite like it this way. Right. So again, who do you think is going to be the slowest? Either the LMS Black Five or the uh, United States of America Jupiter. I have the Jupiter is actually a really pretty engine. I'm not going to lie. That is actually like really nice. Right. So we're going to click play. Are you sure you want to save the changes? Yes, I want to save it and let the racing uh, begin. Oh, she's blowing a whistle. And both engines have started, and Jupiter is doing a lovely tooty toot. Um, God, they are actually pretty loud, aren't they? So I'm going to be driving the Superclass 47, put the lights on, release the brakes, train it forward, and get get moving. Uh, sit my head out the window. So here we go. Black 5 versus Jupiter. So far, it's 
slightly neck and neck, but I think the Black Five is slightly fast at the moment. But then again, she will lose speed and she will lose a lot of steam later on this video. So, 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 so don't get your hopes up just yet. In fact, this is not the slowest race at all. These engines are actually going quite fast, if, if, if you ask me. I mean, oh, but hold on, Jupiter is actually picking up speed. Oh my God, Jupiter is actually overtaking the Black Five. And Jupiter is doing about over 50 miles per hour. Now, for an engine this old, 50 miles per hour is actually really good. And the Black Five is falling behind. I think she's doing just under 50. Uh, but Jupiter is doing about nearly 55 miles per hour. I am actually really surprised. And I have to say, there was a massive thunderstorm here in Hampshire uh, last night. And I barely got any sleep because uh, I woke up in a massive shock. <laughs> Get to see. Shock. I woke up in a shock because of thunder and lightning. Lightning shock never mind but i've got everything i need for today's video i've got some crisps i've got bars of chocolate which, which i shouldn't really hold in my hand and i've also got cake i do like cake so jupiter's max speed is 55 miles per hour what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna put the superclass 47 in reverse and see how fast the black five is doing it's not doing as fast as jupiter but let's see how fast is she doing about about 45. I think it's doing about 10 miles per hour slower than Jupiter. I can't even see Jupiter. Where's it gone? Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> There's like a tiny little dot uh, up ahead on the main line. But uh, the Black Five is not doing very well. Oh, dear. And I've just realized this is going to be quite a long video for me to record. I'm going to be doing a lot of editing. You know, I could be doing something else. I could be going out to have lunch or anything. But because I love you guys so much, I'm going to sit indoors and make some amazing content for you and just spend about an hour recording this video. That's how much I love you guys. I'm making videos for you to keep you guys happy. And to be honest, I don't want to go outside today anyway. It's pouring it down. Oh, and by the way, when I said I've got a packet of crisps, uh, if you're American, uh, these are called chips. But here in the UK, because I'm British and my head just went right through the window of the Superclass 47, we call them crisps. I don't know, we're weird. I'm actually surprised how a steam engine this old is actually going this fast. Because, like, 55 miles per hour for an engine like this, that's like... That's like Bugatti Veyron territory. I don't know why I'm doing cars now. This is not a car channel. This is a train channel. Like, for this, 55 miles per hour is like, I don't know, an A4 doing nearly 200. That's how amazed I am at this. I was kind of expecting Jupiter to be about either 20 to 30 miles per hour, but, but doing 55? That's really fast. And let's see if I can try and see the black five in the distance. Uh, let's have a look. Where is it? No, I can't, I can't even see it. Like, like, it's so far behind. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, my God. Let's have a look on the map. So, where are we? We are here. And the Black Five is here. And it's... We're, we're, we're extending the gap quite a lot. That is that is quite a big gap. Guys, I'm bored and I'm kind of thirsty. I need, I, need, I need a drink. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hello, hello. <laughs> yes, got some juice with me. There you go, Mr. Oliver saves himself once again. Not bad. Right, let's go back and try and find um, the Black Five because I'm having a look on the map and the Black Five is like miles behind. Like, like, like there's the Black Five and there is Jupiter. Like, th th that is a massive gap. Black Five, where are you? Oh, there she is. Oh, she's going really slow. How fast is she going now? Let's match her speed. Because the last time we matched her speed, she was about doing about 45 miles per hour. And she has slowed down quite a lot. She's not even in the 40s anymore. I think she's doing about... Well, she's doing less than 34. So I think she's doing about 33 miles per hour. Let's try and, like, try and link speed. So if we're doing 33.2... Yeah, she's only doing 33 miles per hour, which is really slow. How does it feel, Black 5, to be one of the slowest engines ever in race history? So we're no more seeing you anymore. Bye! And that is how you leave a train for dust. I quite, I quite like that word, dust. Dust. Leave it for dust. I mean, there's not many words out there that I enjoy saying, but dust and, um, and squished. Like, saying the word squished as well, that's a good one. Squished. So, so dust and squished. Squished and dust. Those are the two words I actually really enjoy saying over and over again. 
Like, for those of you who are watching, just say the word dust and then say squished. Like, it, it sounds it, it sounds funny in your mouth when you, when, when you say it. Squished and dust. You guys should try it. It's actually really fun. Okay, so Jupiter is like... Like a million miles ahead. Uh, I'm gonna apply our brakes just a little bit. So let's have a look on the map. So the Black Five is just going over the bridge. Uh, oh my god, so we're there and the Black Five is there. It's gonna take years for the Black Five to actually finish. And I just can't get over the fact that how amazed I am of how well Jupiter has done. Like, I thought this was gonna be really slow, but again, I, th I thought wrong. Okay, Jupiter, so you are the first to arrive. Um, which actually, no, actually, that means she's the loser. That means she loses because the uh, this whole race um, was all about the slowest engine ever. So, actually, the fact that Jupiter has stopped at the finish line first actually makes her the loser. So, there you go, Jupiter. Unfortunately, even though you did beat the Black Five in speed, but... The slowest wins. Sorry, Jupiter. <laughs> a little, little toot there. Did you guys hear that? Uh, can I, um, can we have her as, um, as ringing the bell? Oh. Oh, I, oh, I never, oh. I just clicked on the engine, my mistake, and now apparently I've broken something. Right, well, I suppose we better head to the museum and do the lap times and see where they stand on the leaderboard. Okay, we're back at the uh, museum studio and we're about to do the lap time to see where they stand on the leaderboard. So who should we start with first? Let's start with Jupiter because even though she finished the race first doesn't necessarily mean that she won the race because again the, the, the slowest win you guys hear the other day by now. So let's have a look at the lap time. Uh, here they are. And the slowest so far is Clan Castle at 13 minutes, 46.12 seconds. So, I have Jupiter's lap time. And she did it in... 17 minutes. So, it's so far the slowest. 27.6 seconds. That is really slow. 17 minutes to get around the entire racetrack, which is... Quite a long time, if you ask me. So, Bossman Games' is Black 5. Her time was a lot slower than uh, Jupiter's. But how slow? Now, because she was travelling so slow, we didn't actually see her get a chance to finish at the finish line. But that's okay. I still have her time recorded. So, she did it in. Bossman Games' is Black 5. 34 minutes. 49 Point one. That is really slow. Thirty. That's nearly thirty-five minutes. That is. That's really, really slow. I mean, thirty-five minutes. It, it takes less than ten minutes to get from Winchester to Eastleigh by train. So there are the lap times, and the slowest is so far Bossman Games' Black 5 in the LMS livery. God, it's really starting to fill up now. The, the, the lap times are really starting to get a bit full now, which, uh, which is nice. Now, the next race, I did promise I'd get Tornado and Flying Scotsman on the leaderboard, or the lap, on the lap time board, sorry. And I think uh, I think next week I'll see if I can try and do that for you guys because because we we want to get Flying Scotsman and Tornado on here. We need to see where they where they, those times stand. And also I'd like to get Dutch of Sutherland and Dutch of Hamilton and Mallard up here as well. That that would be a nice. Th th those would be nice engines to have on the leaderboard, I think. But that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well, so stay notified to the channel. And please, please subscribe to my second channel, Mr. Oliver. Link to that is in the description below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys again next time. Yeah, so subscribe. And uh, I, f I forgot what I was going to say. I'm just going to play on the train set for a bit. So, uh, yeah, get that camera out of my face. <laughs>
boys wanted to do that. <laughs>